Hi, Nick Houston here for Gotham Sound TV. Uh, today we're taking a quick peek at the Ambient Nano Locket. Uh, we'll show you everything that comes in the box and then we'll show you how to set it up uh, with both the DSLR very quickly and also how to integrate it into the Ambient Network. Um, so inside the box, when you open up the Nano Locket, first thing you see is a quick start guide, uh, which is very helpful, uh, especially because there are three buttons on here and the guide tells you what to do and how to do it. And there's the nano locket. Uh, the nano locket is approximately two and a half inches long by one and a half inches wide. And then if we want to look at how deep it is, we could do something like this. And it's about one inch deep. Uh, it's a solid aluminum frame, um, super sturdy. Uh, it's got a 35 hour lithium battery in it, rechargeable via USB. Uh, USB can also be used to plug it into a computer to set the real-time clock and time code if you intend on using this as your master. It's not what we're doing in this uh, video, but we can do that in the future date if people want to see that. Uh, and then you've got three buttons, green, red, and power. So if you wanted to turn it on, you would push and hold the power button. So we go one, two, three, and it's on. And you can see it's blinking here. The red light blinking, um, blinking red and green indicates that it's on, everything's fine, but it does not have time code yet and is not outputting time code. Um, so other things in the box, we'll just set that aside now that we've got it on, are this little handy lanyard, very exciting, and this coily uh, time code cable to eighth inch uh, to be used for DSLR and a couple little different caps. So if you want to color code your ambient transmitters um, or your ambient nanos, and maybe one's a master, one's a um, one slave to it, you can use the different uh, the different caps or if it's you know, for different cameras, however. We're not going to use those in this video. Um, so, oh, and Velcro. Look at that. Comes with some Velcro. Um, so to get this started, um, as I mentioned, we turn it on like that. And then very simply, if you're using a, um, another master clock, like a, a Sound Devices um, 6 Series or a Zaxcom or a, 7, a Zaxcom Nomad or a Diva or you know, really anything else, all you have to do is get time code into this. So for that, I'm going to use this Deneke uh, GR1, uh, which is older than time. And right now I'm generating 30 frame per second time code. Okay, so I'm just going to take the output of that from here. I'm going to plug it into the input of the nano locket. And you'll notice that it's now, instead of flashing red and green, it's just flashing green, which means it's taken the jam. And if we were to uh, take the, uh, the output of the nano locket and plug it back in to the GR1, you'll see that we have an equal sign on the GR1, which means that, in fact, it is outputting time code and you see it's the same 30 per second time code that we jammed before. So it auto sends the frame rate and put it back and generate for later. Okay. And so now if we take the same cable, which is essentially the same thing that uh, you get in it just without the coily and we bring over our DSLR, we'll turn on our DSLR. Okay. And then what we want to do is go into the menu and we want to find the mic level adjust. Okay, so what the quick start guide recommends is that we first of all plug it in, we go into the mic level adjust, and then we bring the mic level adjust up to about 50%. Whoops, there we go, 50%. Okay. That's good. So we can see the level there. That's the time code on the left channel. Okay, when I unplug it, we see the onboard mic comes back on. When I have that, that's fine. So really, that's pretty good. But if you had a camera that was a little bit more sensitive or a little less sens sensitive, you can turn the output level on and uh, up and down. So let's say we wanted to turn the output level down and have the screen stay on. Um, what we would do is we would push and hold the green button and then push the red button to bring the sound level down. And see now the sound level's all the way down. If we wanted to bring it back up, we push and hold the red button while tapping the green button to bring it back up. And now you're ready to go for your DSLR. So we can roll a quick clip. And there we go. 
Hi, Joe. There we go. And if we were to play it back, oh, there we go. If we were to play it back, we should hear, sorry, if we were to play it back, we should hear some lovely time code. There it is. So you can use your uh, editing software, um, you know, editing software, any utilities to turn that audio time code into actual time code that you can then sync uh, your recorder to, uh, or your recorded audio to. So now if we wanted to use this with another ambient box, like this one, this is the ALC204, um, kind of the, the old standard, um, you'll notice a couple of differences here. Uh, number one, the nano is obviously much smaller. There's like three nanos to one, um, to one ACL 204. Uh, other things you'll notice: the ACL 204 has a screen, and it also has a sync out on a BNC, as as well as a bunch of other different options on these two five-pin limos. Uh, but they are compatible, and you can use the ACL 204 as a master, or you can use uh, the nano locket is a master. So since we've already jammed the nano locket, um, we can, let's use that as a master for now. I'm going to turn on uh, the ACL 204. Okay. And we see that the time code set to zero. It's waiting for time code from channel 18, very important channel 18 of the ACN network to set your nano locket as your master for this or any other uh, ambient product, simply push and hold the green button for three seconds. One, two, three, and boom, sync received. Now we've got the time code here, which is now matching the time code here, and we've got a whole time code of Palooza, okay? And so conversely, if we wanted to have this be the master, have the ACL 204 be the master, we'll turn it off just for kicks, turn this off just for kicks and start all over again. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the ACL 204 back on. Okay, and now you see the time code is at zero. And so I'll just very quickly go through, set the time code um, to, let's say, one hour, update it, yes. And now I'll turn on this nano locket by again pushing and holding for a few seconds until it turns on. There we go, it's on. And so what I'll do now, I've got that plugged on into the input on the GR1, set to read mode. And so to make this, to make this jam over to the nano locket, we'll just go into the menu, go over to the ACN network sync, and we're gonna call this the master. And so do we wanna start continuous jam? Yes, we do. Okay, and now it's gonna send out the ACN signal and it says one okay. And now if we go over to our, um, to our GR1, we can see that the time code from our master, wireless master is reading A-OK -okay from our nano locket. Same thing here to here. And uh, that will work with one box, two boxes, three boxes, four boxes, however many boxes you have, uh, that'll work with. And that'll work with the nano as the master, that'll work as the, um, with the tiny locket as a master, that'll work with the regular locket as a master, that'll work with the master locket as a master. It'll just work. Um, and this uses their ACN network, which uh, has a range of um, a couple hundred meters. So really, if you're doing, um, you know, if everybody needs to be in sync and you're around a football field, that'll work. Um, the nice thing about the, the Nano um, compared to some of the other products out there is it, it you know, the ambient clock is, is one of the standards of the film and television industry. Um, you know, they've been doing this for a long time and their crystal sync technology is, is really rock solid. So you know what you're getting with, uh, with Ambient. So anyway, so that's the Ambient Nano Locket. Thanks for watching. Um, on Saturday, May 13th, 2017, uh, we're going to be having the Gotham Sound Expo uh, here at Gotham Sound in New York. Uh, the Ambient Nano Locket will be there with a bunch of other new stuff for people to get hands on and check out. So come on by.